Hello everybody and welcome back to our Total Random Let's Play. Uh, last week we were playing Star Trek Online Agents of Yesterday Expansion. This is part two of that, so if you haven't watched part one, you might want to click on part one's link right here. Uh, but without further ado, let's get on with it. Well, I guess we're not in the mood for questions. Like they aren't in the mood for Is that a Klingon Lieutenant? pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience decrypting Klingon data. Huh. My little sister's diary was harder to decrypt. Sure, Klingons are good at fighting, but computers aren't their strong suit. And voila! One Klingon pad, unlocked and ready for your inspection. Nice work, Ensign. Let's have a look. Captain Core, your plan has worked perfectly, sir. Many ships have fallen into our trap. We've snared a few merchant ships and a Starfleet science vessel so far. You'll be pleased to hear that we're picking up a Federation cruiser on long-range sensors. Constitution class. Time to hunt bigger game. Glory to the Empire! Looks like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. Agreed. No oh, more Klingons. Yeah, I probably should have. Dodged that one. Oh, great. I'm on my own. Apparently, my security officer ran off to go heal herself. <laughs> Wrong button. Yes, let's scan them to death. It's a great idea. Where the hell is my security officer? Oops, nice. Oh, there you are. Thanks for joining me. His death animation didn't play. No, oh, there's the shuttle. We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. That makes two of us. Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. We 
made it. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. Couldn't have done it without you, Ensign. Thanks. <laughs> oh god, is she gonna die? That would really suck. Yeah, the Klingons are on board. Bridge to shuttle bay. Please respond. Okay, she's okay. She's okay, everybody. Cryptic wasn't that mean. Alright. Oh, there we go. We have some uninvited guests, Lieutenant. We've been boarded. The Klingons have breached the hall on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security in, I need you to secure the deck. Aye, sir. Recommendations? Start with the engineering lab. We need to bring our plasma relays back online. After that, secure the armory and main engineering. We'll handle it, sir. Parse, mirrors, ready weapons and prepare to repel borders. I'm remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? Stay here with Tarsi to help this squad. I'll take care of the labs. Initialized. Auxiliary power restored. Now clear out that armory. Watch out! More Klingons! Oh, Captain Eager. <laughs> that actually startled me a bit. Well done. You and Tarsi hold here. I'll clear out my engineering. Come on, Klingon. Hand to hand combat. Let's do this. What the hell? That's an interesting skill. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Bridge to engineer. Please respond. Nice work. Internal sensors showed you have secured the engineering deck. Check the power relays for the weapon systems. Looks like the Klingons fried them during the fight. On it, sir. Stand by. Some missions in Star Trek Online will change based on your career track. Engineering, science, or tactical. Weapon tower relays are up and running. Charge all phaser banks. I need you on the bridge, Lieutenant. Ooh, we're gonna go pew pew now. Alright, I love pew pewing. So space battles in this game are freaking awesome. Uh, probably the best part about this game. Sir, incoming transmission. Why did you get a voice, Ensign Hunter?
Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. That's weird. Uh, you don't usually get rewards until a mission is over. Hmm. Oh, looks like Tarsi's officially become my bridge officer. Great. I got some new ship stuff, so I might as well equip it before we go into battle. Got a new impulse engine, a new phaser array, and a new shield. Alright, my body is ready. Sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Aye, sir. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed by using Q. Sure. Alright, so before I do that, I'm going to switch this to number two. No, I'm going to switch this to uh, number three. There we go. And I'm putting all power to attack right now. Uh, later on in the game when you get a better ship you can like customize this much better but for now uh, this is really the best option for me and I'm going to right click on my weapons here as you can see a green uh, circle or a green square uh, uh, surrounds it now that means they're on auto fire so instead of targeting uh, an enemy and clicking on one of these if I hit my space bar all weapons that can fire will fire so what I mean by can fire is if the ship is within your weapon's firing arc, it'll fire. Also, before we start this, let's take a quick look at this ship. This is a really nice looking ship, oh my god. And there we have it, the USS Total Random Reviews. NCC-1590 It's a sexy ship Alright, let's do this Science report coming in now the satellites are using a tri axillating signal. It's strong enough to cut through the interference and reach ships outside the nebula. Clever. Almost a shame we have to blow them up, isn't it? Aye, sir. It's a real tragedy. Use your torpedo to attack enemies who are not shielded. like this one is shielded though. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it again. Use your phaser beam to weaken <coughs> shielded targets. Under attack. Use your torpedo on an enemy when their shield is down. <coughs> You must be out of combat to answer the hail. The red alert message at the top of your screen. You are in combat. Now before I answer this hail, let's realize the camera is set to follow my ship, which I don't actually like. I prefer having a free camera, so let me just fix that. There we go. Much better. Can can you hear us? We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. Tellarites. They're so weird looking. 
Hold on, Captain. We're on our way. some energy and get them started again. Can do, Captain. Stand by. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the Klingons. Safe travels, Captain. Lieutenant, I've made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. I think you'll like the results. Acknowledged. Remember that you can activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it again. Activate high yield torpedo by clicking on the icon or using Alt plus one. High yield torpedo Your head will separate my bridge! More Klingon ships detected on long-range sensors, sir. Not today. Fire! They don't usually use uh, sound clips from the show. Acknowledge Enterprise en route to your position now. Uhura! Uhura! Oh, so, the cub comes to fight beside the wolfie. And now you will die with him as well. That's pretty cool. That looks that looks like a neg bar. This is a TOS inspired neg bar. <laughs> that is pretty damn cool. Upon you and your lackey. Thank you for your assistance. Ah. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, as we all know, Leonard Nimoy passed away last year. Um, but he did do voiceover work for this game. Uh, I guess that's the only thing they had. Uh, to use, <laughs> uh, which is, uh, you know, it sucks, but, uh, anyways, I'll be reading the part of Spock, and then my response. Thank you for your assistance. Total random reviews. <laughs> uh, sensors indicate there are no enemy vessels remaining in this sector. 
our actions today should deter the Klingons from further acts of piracy in the area, though they are often far from logical in such matters. Thanks for the update, Commander. Safe travels. Total random reviews out. Looks like we're done here, people. Starfleet Command wants us, and Enterprise, back for a debriefing on this mess. Helm, set a course for Earth's space dock. Warp Factor 3. I wonder what that other Constitution class was doing there. That's weird. It's probably a bug. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant, but he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. I'd take him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise? The best of the best! That they are, Tarsi. That they are. <laughs> this transporter room looks so freaking cool. Oh, man. So this is Earth space dock in the 23rd century. It's much smaller. If uh, any of you ever end up playing P um, STO, uh, you'll see what Earth space dock looks like in the 25th century, and uh, yeah, it's way bigger. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people to talk to here. Wait a minute, what? Is that? That looks like Janice Rand. Ah, Yeoman Rand, yeah. Hey, cool. Even got her freaking hair. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Who are you? No, just random Starfleet Ensign, okay. All right, let's talk to uh, McCoy here. If you're going into the lion's den, you'll need a medical officer. I'm going to offer you some free advice. Don't be afraid to listen to the advice of your CMO, especially when it's followed by the words doctor's orders. In my experience, officers in command branch tend to get hearing problems in such circumstances. I'll keep that in mind, doctor. You know, it feels like this isn't the first time I've given you some advice. Know anything about that? Can't say that I do. Sorry. Hmm. As a Vulcan colleague of mine might say, fascinating. I'll let you get back to it, Lieutenant. Thanks for the help back there at Taurus. Don't mention it, Doctor. Okay. Oh, look, it's Scotty. Let's talk to Scotty. That was some fine work back there, friend. It's not every day one walks away from a brawl with the Klingons. You look familiar. If you don't mind me saying so. Have we met before? Uh, I'm not surprised he got full dialogue. Um, before I continue, uh, to those of you who don't know, uh, Scotty here is actually voiced by Jimmy Doohan's son, who does a really good impression of him. Um, his son also plays uh, Scotty on the fan series Star Trek Continues, and he does, again, a fantastic job at it. Uh, and it's one of the voice actors they brought back for this mission, uh, for this uh, update. So, uh, yeah. I don't think so, sir. Ah, must be my imagination, then. You meet a lot of folks serving in Starfleet, to be sure. By the way, I heard you ran into the local wildlife on Taurus, too. Right on friendly devils, aren't they? I won't be forgetting those gigantic spears anytime soon. Look me up sometime. We'll have a drink and share some caveman tales. Thanks, Lieutenant Commander. I could use a good drink. Oh, well, they're all here. Let's talk to Chekhov. We were in Starfleet Academy together. We were. 
Always nice to see someone from the Academy days. Class of 2268, yes? I seem to recall an incident involving you, a Rigelian flame rose, and the unfortunate activation of the fire suppression system during one of Professor Tavan's lectures. Very cold. Almost like Siberian winters. It made a pretty positive impression on the cadet on, on Cadet Winstead, however. Let's go with Sulu. Hey, the great bird of the galaxy, bless your planet. <laughs> Hello. I understand you were at the helm during the fight with the Klingons. That was some fine flying. Keep it up, and you might get the chance to helm a Constitution class. From what I've seen, you're up for the challenge. Thanks, Lieutenant. I hope I'll get the, the chance. We'll talk to Uhura. Lieutenant Uhura of the Starship Enterprise. Even to the Klingons, they set a trap inside the Murasaki effect. I don't think they'll try anything like that again soon. Be careful, though. Klingons tend to hold grudges. Your friend Captain Cora might try to settle the score with you down the road. Good advice, Lieutenant. If he wants a rematch, I'll be ready. Well, that was a nice touch, being able to converse with the crew of the Enterprise. Oh, pretty cool. And who are you? Oh, it's Miris. It's been a pleasure working with you. I didn't enjoy going back to Taurus too, but we got the job done thanks to you. Starfleet First Officers must be my good luck charm. Captain Garrett has requested me for a new logistics position here at ESD. Might not be as glamorous as the Final Frontier, but I've accepted. Until next time, good luck out there. <laughs> Smart move. I don't know how many times you dodged a bullet, red shirt. Same to you, Ensign. Take care. Okay, enter Captain Garrett's office. That is down here, okay. No, there you are. Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command, and they agree with my recommendation. You. Congratulations, my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Don't think you've gotten rid of me, though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Ooh, spot. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict. But there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, new officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. I've outlined important people you should talk to while visiting Earth's space dock. Speak with the tailor to customize your appearance. After that, speak with the ship vendor to claim a shuttlecraft. They did a really good job of piecing together all of uh, Leonard Nimoy's uh, recorded speech in this game. Didn't sound half-assed or anything. That was really good. Really well done. Alright. Let's uh, speak with the tailor. Customize my outfit. I think you've said that already. Oh yeah, okay, I was like, who the hell is this? Uh, so yeah, now that we are uh, finished the mission, we're on the actual Earth space dock that all the other players are on. So, you know, here's some actual players. 
So, yeah, all right. Well, uh, wait, what? Yeah. Okay, the tailor's in the armory for some reason. Welcome to Earth Space Dock, Lieutenant Goober. <laughs> Congratulations on your recent promotion to command of a starship. Uh, I can help you adjust the details and particulars of your uniform within regulations, of course. This is a good time to update your uniform with your new rank in, in, yeah, insignia. Thank you. Show me what is available. I don't think I need to change much here. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's update my rank at the very least. There we go, I'm a lieutenant now. Oh, wait a minute. I'm also a captain, which is weird, but eh, video games. Uh, do I have that? Did I unlock it? I can't remember. I did! What do you think, guys? Should I rock the Kirk rap? Eh, nah, never mind. I'm gonna put a dress uniform on. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Oh, I gotta pay for this. The ripped shirt. It's the Kirk special, man. Ripped shirt. And then, oh. That looks like it's a Tellarite uniform. Oh, yeah, Tellarite. And Dorian, Vulcan Ambassador. And a god awful ugly shirt. Alright. Anyways. I changed what I wanted to change. And let's go claim a shuttle. This way. Let's go talk to Admiral Garrett. Remember, your objective locations can also be found on your compass as well as your mini map. I know that being a starship captain is a big responsibility, but I believe you're up to the task. If you feel that your ship is ready for its next mission, I can give you new orders. Stay safe out there. Will do, sir. All right, so that is the end of that. Uh, as I said earlier, I am planning on doing uh, a new video once a week, um, every Saturday, I believe. Um, and I'm going to do it per mission. So uh, technically, I think I, could, I did like two. Um, but uh, I did two today, but it was weird where they broke the mission off. Earlier I was like, uh, before we started the space battle, I was like, why did I get, uh, why did I get a prize? Um, so I, it just dawned on me right now that it was probably because, oh, let's sit down here while we talk. It was probably because uh, the mission was over and the space battle was a new mission. Weird place to put that. Um, so uh, I'm glad I still played it because I feel like that should have been part of the first mission anyways. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's it. Uh, going forward, we will continue doing one mission uh, per week until all of the Agents of Yesterday content is completed. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the game. And I hope you guys start playing if you don't play already as a result. Uh, so let's rate this mission. Um, it had some ups and downs. It was a little slow at first, but it is a tutorial mission, and they always tend to be slow. Uh, but the nostalgia factor was through the roof. Um, for that alone, and of course the epic space battles that this game can deliver, uh, I think I'm going to give this of a possible 1 to 5. Um... I'm going to give this a 4. This was a pretty good mission. Again, a little slow at first, but uh, it was still pretty damn good. 
so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna sit here, chillax with the uh, the admiral over there. Uh, maybe hit on that redhead. She's kind of cute. What's your name? Shayla. Well, hello, Shayla. Oh, she's already got her sights on a guy named Jebediah. Well, that just. Well, fuck. Eh. Ah, oh, well. Now I'm depressed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, dislike it if you didn't. Uh, leave a comment below if you guys enjoyed what I did or have any suggestions for me to do in the in the future. Uh, let me know what you liked and didn't like, and uh, I can adjust the the way this works out for the next video. Um, also, please subscribe if you do enjoy my content and want to see more. Uh, not only am I doing Let's Play videos now, I do uh, a lot of unboxings for Loot Crate and Nerdblock, and uh, pretty soon I'm going to be doing some actual reviews uh, of various things. It's going to be totally random, as my the name of my channel uh, indicates. Uh, it could be a movie review, could be a TV show review, could be a toy review, could be a food review. Who knows? Uh, anyways, uh, thanks again, and uh, see you out there.